We got a question here about placenta previa, so let's talk about it. This dynamic duo's job through the entire pregnancy is to infiltrate and stay hidden, because if they don't, things would go very wrong. This criminal mastermind here needs plenty of oxygen, food, and a place to dispose of waste. But it can't do that on its own. It needs its partner in crime, Big Daddy Placenta. A normal placental attachment happens on the side or the posterior of the uterus. If it happens on the belly side, the frontal side, that would be anterior placenta, and that can actually prevent you from feeling kicks and stuff like that because the placenta's in the way. So normally, this criminal duo swoop in, steal stuff for nine months, and then they make a dramatic exit. That exit includes this little doorway called the cervix. But every once in a while, this thing is less of a mastermind and more of a dunce. Instead of safe cracking its way into the pregnant person up here, it tries to do it near or right over the cervix. This comes in stages. What you're seeing here is the most severe form. Sometimes it's just at the edge or kind of partially over this opening. And when it's close or it's just partially obstructing it, as the uterus grows, it can actually become a non-issue. However, if it stays like this, it makes that dramatic exit a lot more dramatic. If you're a fetus that was let down by its current placenta, next time remember, Womb Sucker 5000, the name you trust. This unfortunate placement also puts the host at risk of something called placenta accreta. That's a condition where the placenta doesn't just invade the endometrium, it actually gets into the muscular layers of the uterus. In really severe cases, it can grow all the way through. So how can you tell if you have this? Placenta percreta starts to cause trouble usually around week 20. Luckily, there's also an ultrasound around that time that can diagnose it. But if you're around that window and you start leaking bright red blood, it's time to call the doctor. You are at higher risk for placenta previa if you've had a baby or a C-section, had a previous experience with placenta previa, or using assisted reproductive technologies. If you're carrying twins, this is more of a space issue. And normally, age ain't nothing but a number, but in this case, if you're over 35, it's gonna increase your risk. Smoking, vaping, and other drugs also can cause a lot of problems. Now, I'm gonna show you an anatomical image of this. I've toned it down so it's not too crazy, but if you don't think you can handle it, it's time to swipe. This down here is the cervix. All of this is the muscular lining of the uterus. And then this real pink meaty looking area is the invasion site of the placenta. Here you can see it has completely grown over the cervix. No dramatic exit possible. This image is actually demonstrating placenta accreta, possibly increta as well. You can see pretty dramatically how far that placenta, the fingers of that, have actually penetrated into the muscular lining of the uterus. It's the buy one, get one sale you didn't want any part of. As always, thank you for learning with me, and if you've got a question, you know what to do.